we were talking divergence of velocity, uh, which is uh, denoted as del of v, and there is an expression that is written like d by dt plus d by dx and other uh, similar terms that we write for these things and uh, they were shown on the earlier slide. So we continue that and actually they come from the consideration of a small control volume that is considered its position or ch change in its position from time t1 to t2. So uh, the moving control volume we have tried to show here a picture here and this is considered for different times t1 and t2 and we try to see the divergence of velocity. Now here if there is a small infinite decimal surface area denoted by ds and there is a unit vector n which is normal to this surface and the v is the velocity vector, uh, we try to see the changes that occur in it. The volume that is swept by the elemental area ds during the time interval dt can be written as, so this is the delta v with a cross means that we are talking about the change in volume of the, the fluid that is moving and this is not velocity. When we want to write velocity, then velocity is written here as vector v as you can see. So this is equal to v dot delta t, delta t is a small change in time in the direction of n the unit vector times ds the infinitesimal uh, surface area. And then this can be written as v times delta t dot ds. Note that depending upon the orientation of the surface element, dv could be positive or negative because the fluid coming in, coming out and similarly the change in velocity will be coming in, coming out. So it can have negative sign or positive sign which reflects only the direction in which the flow is taken. Dividing by dt and letting delta v tends to zero gives the following expression. So what we are doing, we are dividing these terms by delta t all the way and letting delta v tends to zero, we obtain this term dv by dt. So we have divided it by this and we are taking the limit on this side as delta t tends to zero and then we take, we see what do we have. At the same time, if I try to integrate it, so when we take the limits of course and we try to integrate, we obtain this value and we apply here the left hand side term is written as a total time derivative because fluid element is moving with the flow and it would undergo both local derivative changes, local acceleration and also the convective changes. So all these terms are included in the left hand side term which is denoted by capital D by dt times the changes in the velocity or the volume, uh, when we are writing this term, we are writing the amount of volume that is being swept across. The divergence theorem from vector calculus, the famous vector theorem, can now be used to transform the surface integral into the volume integral so that everything is to be is made uniform, everything is considered in terms of volume. And therefore, we make use of this theorem and we obtain the term as equal to the triple integral on divergence of V with respect to change in the volume. 
the divergence this should be corrected and it should be rotated this is the rate of change of volume per unit volume if we now shrink the moving control volume to be a infinitesimal volume then delta volume delta times volume a small change in the volume in the above equation will become will reduce to this and when delta v tends to zero the volume integral can be replaced by again this term is should be written as delta so this encircled term is supposed to be a small change in volume and you are all familiar that it is denoted by this greek alphabet delta into volume as we use in our calculus terms in small changes infinitesimal changes in different variables and on the right hand side we obtain this equation the divergence again this should be this one the divergence of this is the rate of volume of per unit volume differential analysis of fluid flow we continue with the same topic because we are trying to determine the continuity equation by using this equation when we were considering the control volume that is fixed in the space we see that the fluid particles are flowing through the surface and here you can see that they are flowing through the surface considering control volume that is fixed in space and unlike the earlier case where the shape and size of control volume are the same at all times because they were moving with the fluid this one is not moving with the fluid this is fixed in space therefore the conservation of mass can be stated as the net rate of outflow of mass from cv through the surface and therefore that should be equal to the time rate of decrease of mass inside cv so it is this is just can be seen from common sense that if the fluid is moving out the amount of fluid that is moving out should be equal to the same that is being reduced within the volume that is being considered and we call calling it as control volume the net outflow of mass from the control volume therefore can be written as rho into v into ds which is equal to this and note that ds the small the change in the surface s by convention is always pointing outwards therefore v dot ds can be positive or negative depending upon the direction of the velocity and the surface element